want you guys to follow the Philadelphia 76ers. But uh, Joel Embiid has a has a phrase that he sort of coined it, coined it, and he says, "Trust the process." All right, and he's been saying that since 2014. So my summer school teacher, Mr. Ziegler, he's been telling me every day to trust the process. Uh, so he would sort of give me updates and, and tell me where we're at, and I would tell him, "I was like, no, nah, it's not gonna happen, bro." Um, so last week he left on vacation on Thursday, and at that point in time, he, he said we had 67 students. And he said to me, he said, sends me this cryptic text that says TTP. I had no idea what that says for me. So I had to ask him, because I, I sound like motor oil or something, and I had no idea what he was talking about. So um, then I said, well, what are you talking about? He said, trust the process. So all along, he sort of knew where everyone was at, and was sort of not telling me that we potentially were going to get over a certain number today. So, um, and I'll make sure when he comes back to vacation, from vacation, he and I have some words, because he sort of set me up. So, the total number of graduates that we had in June was 704. The total number of graduates we have this summer is 97. <laughs> but that gets right in high school, and I have to look back, I don't know if it's ever happened before, but for the class of 2018, we have 801 total graduates. So, you know, I sent Joel and me a tweet today, and I said, uh, you know, I told him we had 801 graduates, and I said, trust the process. I'll let you know if he responds, I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm just so excited, and I'm um, so happy for all the students here today. Um, you know, if we took the time to give everyone the mic to tell them, tell you their story, um, it would probably get to a point where we probably wouldn't be able to leave out of here without everyone in the room crying. And I say that not from a standpoint of feeling sorry for any of them, but from the standpoint that so many of them have persevered and got through so much to get to this point. And I'm just so happy and excited for them. So. So the graduates that we have told, we have 75% of our students will be going to a two-year four, two-year school, four-year school, trade or technical school, um, and some have already enlisted in the military. But the part that is really uh, makes me feel good is a lot of our graduates this year, from a standpoint of getting into a career and getting employment, a majority of the individuals here, and some of the seniors, not ready to go to school yet. Um, we had a, a new program this year where we work with Gage personnel, and we were able to get employment to seniors of over 100 of them to be able to get them a job and also get them into a career. So I'm very excited for them that, you know what, school may not be my thing right now, but at least I am now into a career and a job that I'll be able to do over the next couple of years. So congratulations to them. So for all the students here tonight, it may have been a long journey, but you can now proudly say that you are a graduate of Reading High School. The address of welcome will be given by a graduate tonight. So at this time, I would like to introduce to everyone Quasia Brown. I wasn't 
like, blessed like most of you. I didn't grow up in a picture-perfect household. I was separated from my siblings and my mother and my parents. It had some splinters. Throughout my senior year, throughout my high school year, my family found out that the woman that was raising me was dying of split colon cancer. Here's the ending of my senior year, she passed away. Instead of pushing me forward for me to want to finish on time, it slowed me down. I didn't have, I didn't have no motivation to keep going. I was depressed.
family members out in the audience. So graduates, let's give it up for our parents and grandparents. <laughs>
Jamie Vargas.
Kelly Vett will be attending BTI next year. Kelly Vett, the uh, Anthony Figueroa. Anthony will be going to the military next year. Edgar Figueroa President. Edgar will be going to the Automotive Technology Center.
Ileana will be seeking full-time employment. Ileana Ignacio. Kristen Harbin.
Third row, please stand up. Irma Lasso Sorto. Alex 
mantau. Daisy will be 
going to the military next year. Yeah. 
Carmel Reyes. Jim <laughs> Carlos will be seeking full time employment. DeAndre Rivera. <laughs> DeAndre will be attending Daddy Stevens next year. Brian will be seeking full-time employment. Brian Rodriguez. Let's go, Brian! At this time, if the fourth row will grab a seat. Nashari will be moving out of state to go to college. Nashari, are you signing up? Madeline Rojas. Lewis Roman. Lewis will be seeking full time employment. Lewis Roman. Then we'll be going to the Marines next year. Jonathan Sanchez. <laughs> Jonathan will be seeking full-time employment. Jonathan Sanchez. Leon Santiago. Leon will be going to 
Thaddeus Stevens next year.
women, Carlos Olepo. Chauncey Winwood. 